Hello, everyone. This is your main man, live in Woodstock, Gross83, or as I am known on the streaming slash dating app, which I don't date, so for me it's a streaming app, I am known as Brock Woodstock on the streaming app. And I looked and I saw that I had three brand new subscribers to the channel. And I don't know who you are, but I want to say thank you, and I hope you stay a subscriber, whoever you might be. Now today, later today, we've got a special treat, a special review later today. So look for that. Now, not to say that this review right here and now is not special, because I get excited about every beer that I review. Even the ones that I know are going to be horrible, I get excited about, because it's fun to warn the people and steer them away from what could potentially be a horrible experience for their taste buds. Now we've got the Bears game on. They are playing the Atlanta Falcons. It is tied 17 to 17 with just a smidge over 13 minutes left in the third quarter. So you can get an idea of when I made this video. Exciting game so far. But we are not here to discuss the Chicago beer, Bears. We are here to discuss beer, not bears. Now, who is ready for today's first review? Obviously, all of you are, or were, if you're watching this. For today's review, we've got one of my favorite styles. And I imagine some of you, such as Savage, he mentioned it on the streaming app yesterday is a beer a style that i like and he was 100 percent correct and this one is another one from bell's brewing out of comstock michigan i am a big fan of bell's brewing as you can see as you, if you skim over some of my past reviews i've done a few of their beers the only one I didn't particular, particularly care for was Rind Over Matter. It was drinkable, but I thought it was a little too lemony for my pleasure and enjoyment. But this one is one that I have not tried before. It is, this is a, this is called Quite Bright. And this, yes, this is a Belgian-inspired wheat ale. This beauty is coming in at 5% alcohol by volume. So definitely a session beer. Now I do have one, I think I have one of the uh, Stone 26th anniversaries left, but coming in at 10%, that's going to be a little strong for... Uh, relaxing that's one that you drink one and I'm just about ready for bed and that is exactly what happened last week I had a couple of those and I went to took a five hour nap and couldn't get back to bed till almost 4 a.m. and we do not want that because I have an important job and I need to be at peak performance to do that job so are you ready for this beauty of a beer and i think it is going to be a beauty because it is a now this some might consider this to be a little off season this style but we'll see might be able it could be a four season beer but let's take a look we're gonna pour it we don't need to pour it slowly that's the mistake that i was making pouring it too slowly that is actually wrong. We are. Oh, this is. Look at this beautiful color. 
This is a nice golden yellow. I believe some of the more advanced reviewers prefer to this as a straw color, so I will uh, go along with that. This has a small, a little head, but you can see the bubbles, so it definitely has some nice carbonation. Let's get a sniff on it. I'll pretend that I know what I'm talking about. Mm. Just as you would expect. Mm. That is now. I'm working. I'm learning. I'm working on it. But right now, what the deciphering thirty different smells. That is way past my pay grade. But I'm trying. I'm trying to learn. This is real nice. I actually think I'm getting some coriander on top of the usual uh, aromas that you would get from a, a Belgian style ale. Mm. Smells really refreshing. more sip to get the real feel for this one because sometimes that first sip doesn't doesn't quite cut the mustard now I'm going to try to hold it in my mouth for a smidge to really get those get the taste get the flavors Ooh, he's running This is a nice beer, but as far as the style goes, I've had better, but it just something, it doesn't pop. Like sometimes you, if you get a beer and the, and the flavor just seems to pop out a little more so this one is nice but it just doesn't give me that pop that I've had other had with other beers of this style so I don't know if I need to let it sit out a little more but as much as I like this style I can only give this one a three out of five because it is because the the lack of pop like that first hit on the front of your tongue is so important and this one just doesn't have that pop that I'm looking for in this style of beer so this one while I will still enjoy it, definitely, it just wasn't, it was a little disappointing. Drinkable, yes. Flavorful, eh, kind of, but three out of five, is the best I can do for quite bright Belgian wheat style ale. And I would like to thank everyone for watching. And I hope everybody has a sensational Sunday. Goodbye for now from Gross Woodstock 83.